the younger players, it's a must, you know, um, as a player comes in here and he's, you know, 28, 29 years old, um, you can still, I think you can still improve a player at that age, for sure. I'm watching how they go in at 35, still get better each year, you know, so it, it is still impossible to add layers to your game. Uh, but I think it's mandatory for young players, you know, the work that they do in our academy with the individual development plans. Um, they have a hired coach now, too, with our Union 2, um, which our Union 2 is maybe different than other teams. It's, it's 15, 16, 17, 18 year old. It's really young. Um, and he works with them uh, on a daily basis on, on, like I said before, if you're a center back, is it, you know, contact on all your clearances with your head, you know, real specific things that um, they can get better each and every day. So yes, that's something we believe in. Um, I'm not responsible for every plan that goes on in our academy. That would be a little overwhelming, but we have staff that take care of that and they do a great job of, you know, getting the most out of these kids and again, the environment is set up now in a way where we're just trying to get them to reach their maximum. You know, for some that might be um, becoming a great college player. For some it might be professional or, or Union 2 player. For some it will be with the first team and for some it will be Brendan Aronson, $35 million to lead. You know, and it happens quick and it's crazy when it does happen, but um, I think we have a little bit of proof of concept here where it can happen um, for these kids if they work the right way.